So right now we're hosting a sit-in in Blackburn, um, basically because of the lack of inaction and accountability from our administration, and we plan on staying there until our concerns are addressed. On the night of October 12th, a group of students led by the Howard Young Democratic Socialist Organization and the Live Movement began a 24-7 sit-in protest in the Blackburn Student Center entitled the Blackburn Takeover. Inspired by the 2018 administration building sit-in protest that lasted nine days, Students planned to sit in the student center until their three demands were met by the administrators. These demands being an in-person town hall with President Frederick and administration, the reinstatement of all affiliate trustee positions, student, faculty, and alumni, along with an extensive housing plan to protect Howard students. We are now going into night three of protesting, and this is what a Howard student protester had to say. So we've been out here um, for the past two days now, this is day two, um, basically protesting, gaining, um, gaining awareness, um, inviting all students to come and speak out about the issues that they've had in dorms. We're all taking care of each other, making sure each other are fed. We've got lots of donations with food. We've got music going on. We're, trying to keep a community, a family sense here together. And that's what we've been doing. And uh, you know, that energy has been really important because it's been helping us that when we do have, you know, every, every you know, hour or so, we'll have you know, a large in, uh, influx of people. And that's when we'll talk about what our demands are. Our demands, you know, having a meeting with uh, President Wayne Frederick, you know, um, legal and academic immunity for the protesters. Everyone sleeping here in the cold last night so that we could demonstrate to Howard, we are here and we have things that need to be shown. Our voices need to be heard and we're not feeling heard by administration and we're not going to leave until we do feel heard, until these demands are met. Right now we're in front of the Blackburn Student Center. We're going into the third night of protest and students have no plan of stopping until their demands are met. This is Leah Dawson from Spotlight News signing off.